Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What's a company secret you can share now that you don't work there? They are out of business now, but in the early 90s I worked at Radio Shack for a year and a half. When people would return an item because it didn't work, the manager of the store would just box it back up and sell it again as if it were new. When I asked him about it he said, hopefully they will return it to a different store. I nearly got fired when I refused to sell a guy a walkie-talkie CB radio that I knew didn't work. The guy was on his way out for a hunting trip and was buying three of these for him and his friends. We had two and the third was the broken one. In front of the customer, I told the manager that one didn't work and I had tested it. The guy was happy I told him. We arranged for him to get the last one he needed at a different store and off he went. The manager was livid with me and nearly fired me. I'm sorry, I'm not sending people out into the forest with gear I know doesn't work. Hilariously, a few months later the manager was caught stealing from the store and got fired. Edit. Well, I didn't expect this to blow up like this. It's pretty funny my highest upvoted comment is about my shitty past job. I one time returned a monitor to a fries that had a defective mount so that it was lopsided no. Matter what. I literally watched the guy box it back up to normal looking. Tape it. And while he was refunding my card I saw another walk over and put it back on the shelf. No wonder they're out of business now. This was extremely common at the fries I worked at back in the middle. Management knew and didn't care if the product didn't work. Open box tag it and toss it on the shelf. In my department it was garbage ECSPC motherboards and Airlink network adapters. Which had obscenely high return rates year after year. I used to work for a company that rhymes with Muzzbeed and we used to have somebody post this. Question every few months for material for one of our clickbait articles. You made me search for OP's history and she's full of ask credit questions made to write clickbait. Articles. Oh no. They steal a lot of their content from Reddit. Which is why I stopped reading their recycled nonsense. Government funded refugee advocacy agencies at a time were approving a disproportionate amount of young women, 18 to 25, from Syria and Iraq with sexual assault history for their services. Upon further investigation I and my team discovered consultants from said agency were engaging in sexual relationships with these girls. They were denying them opportunities of employment to keep them in financial destitution purposely. When the girls became desperate the offer of private prostitution was made by the consultants. I whistle blew to the organization heads. They thanked me and the consultants were gone the next day. Huge meeting with senior board. Apologies. This isn't the way we do things. Speeches blah blah blah. Dot and within three months me and the other six other complainants and investigators had all resigned. From the company for different reasons. On paper it looks coincidental. In reality we were all individually pushed out. Two of the consultants that we uncovered were doing the worst were not fired. They were given the option to resign and are currently working at other agencies with vulnerable young women. Yeah you should at least give an anonymous tip to the FBI. That's human trafficking. I imagine there are organizations in those countries who would be very interested and capable of resolving these problems. I have no clue how to contact them or what they are even named. You should definitely go to the media with this. This is absolutely disgusting. PBS Frontline had coverage of what sounds like a similar scenario about a year ago. HTTPS. U2.be slash dash ZSNNHAs underscore 8. Used to work at a graphic design firm. All our Adobe software was pirated. From what I've heard about Adobe, if I was in that game I'd be pirating too. Back when Photoshop came out it put a lot of the old school lithographers out of business. My dad was one of these. When he got laid off he copied the stack of floppy disks with Photoshop on them. Bought an Apple computer. And started his own company. I used to work surveillance at a casino. From something like three stories high ceiling. We could zoom in on money on the table games and read the serial numbers of the bills. We could see the pips on the dice. Policy was to not look down blouses. This is true and also very annoying because I work on the floor and the guys in surveillance can't. Be bothered to do the job and give us a lot of. HRMM can't really see anything. When we call them. They're busy looking down a blouse. Who dented my car in the parking garage? Inconclusive. But they can see the date on a penny. Maple sap can be trucked in from other states and where it's turned from sap to syrup decides on. The state it comes from. Not the location of the trees. You need a maple syrup cartel, like in Quebec. Inbound call center. The, we are currently experiencing an unusually high call volume, messages. Permanent. They just didn't staff adequately. Also, I suspect the menu options have not recently changed. If you don't hear music when you're supposedly on hold, the operator simply muted their mic and can still hear you. I've heard interesting and damning things while they thought I couldn't hear them. I was setting up a new account with the phone company, back in the landline days. I think the operator meant to mute her mic but didn't. 
She had to do some stuff in the background while I was supposed to be on hold or something. I could hear her typing. But at the same time she was telling someone in her office about a party she'd been to the previous weekend. It was hilarious, both her story and the situation in general, but I couldn't laugh out loud. I had to stifle myself to hear the end of the story. I once worked at a call center for Disneyland, booking vacation packages. One of my first calls, my first day on the phones, went something like this. Hi I'm looking to visit on June 18th. Two adults and two child are oh shit. Hang on a second. 911 what's your emergency? Okay one moment. Anyway, two adults and two children, arriving June 18th. Quote.